All right, so let's take a look at tractionizing ice tires. Ice tires these days are typically very good. There's a lot of sipes, uh, which are all gonna flex and give you a lot of bite onto the road surface, and, and any of these modern ice tires are pretty darn good. But if you look at a tractionized tire, um, what you'll see is we've chewed up the surface a lot. You've got a lot more little edges biting onto that ice, and a lot more flex going on, so it's gonna give you some grip uh, a lot more than a normal tire would. A tractionizer itself is really just a two wheels mounted on a strong steel frame essentially um, that have a whole lot of tacks or very small metal spikes or nails almost uh, coming out of those wheels. And the way that this works is you take a car with an open differential and you somehow restrict one wheel from turning. In this case, we've just set it into a wheel. Um, the other one is going to be where the tractionizer machine is and we're going to mount our tire on to be tractionized uh, on, in this case, the left front here and then set it down and actually we're going to drive the car just like this. Uh, so because of the open differential, just this one wheel is going to drive on our tractionizing machine and that's what we want. You don't want to do this obviously with a vehicle with a limited slip differential or certainly a locking differential. This is not what you want to do. When you lower the car down, what you'll see is these little tacks all kind of dig into the tread a little bit and the goal here is actually going to be to drive the car. Uh, just as is and we're not going crazy with it. We keep it under 20 miles an hour uh, and we do this for about two minutes and What you'll find is by by running the car with just the weight of it on these spiked wheels it, It's gonna tear the tread up a little bit. It's gonna give you a lot more traction um, when you do get out onto the ice so like I said, don't, don't be driving the vehicle, you know, at 40, 50 miles an hour right here, 10 to 20 miles an hour is fine for a couple of minutes. And what you end up with is a tire that's gonna work much, much better. It's gonna flex a lot better. It's gonna conform to the road. It's got a lot more edges to bite in and give you grip. Um, and it's gonna work just a lot better on a really icy road.